Linear programming is a mathematical technique that can help you decide the best way to share limited resources. The first step to finding that best way to share is to formulate linear programming equations. In other words, to turn a verbal description into a mathematical format. This video will illustrate how to write linear programming equations for a basic linear programming problem. Here's an example. Red and white pizza pies makes pizza pies in two flavors, regular and white pizza. Each pie uses one portion of dough. Each regular pie has one portion of sauce and one portion of cheese. Each white pizza has no sauce but uses two portions of cheese. A regular pizza contributes $2 to profit while a white pizza contributes $3 to profit. Red and white pizza starts out with four portions of dough, three portions of sauce, and six portions of cheese available. The company must decide how many pies of each type to make per hour. This is an example of a product mix problem. The firm produces two products, regular pizza and white pizza. The production requirements and profit contributions described above can be summarized as in the following table. You can tell this is a linear programming situation because the two types of pizza share ingredients. The shared ingredients are limited or constrained. We want to be able to solve for how much pizza would be the best. In other words, what is the optimal number of regular and white pizzas? The first step in going from a verbal description to a mathematical description is to define decision variables. What is the decision maker's question? What do we want the answer to tell us? We want to know how much of each type of pizza. Since there are two types of pizza, there will be two decision variables. We can represent the number of regular pizzas by R and let W represent the number of white pizzas. Decision variables should be defined in a way that tells how each will be measured. Here the units of measure are the number of pies. The solution to a linear programming problem will be values for the decision variables. So the solution will tell us the number of regular pizzas and the number of white pizzas. Next step is to identify what should be optimized. What will be best about the best solution? We would like the number of pizzas to maximize total profit within the production restrictions given. If the best solution is to be the most profitable solution, then profit is the objective. And since more profit is preferred, profit should be maximized. To formulate mathematically, we write an equation for profit with the instruction to maximize. Since profit per regular pizza is $2, the profit from our regular pizzas is 2R. Similarly, the profit from W white pizzas is 3W, and the total profit is the combination 2R plus 3W. To solve for the best number of regular and white pizzas, we want to find values of R and W that maximize profit. The next part of linear programming formulation is to write mathematical expressions for the limited resources. They are called constraint equations because the resources are limited or constrained. Usually, as in this problem, there are several. The pizza problem has three limited resources, dough, sauce, and cheese. So there will be three constraint equations. Look at dough. A regular pizza uses one portion of dough per pie, or 1R. Also, one portion of dough per white pizza, or 1W. All the dough used by R regular pizzas and W white pizzas will be R plus W. All the dough 
used making pizzas is limited to the four portions available. So the constraint equation for dough is an inequality. R plus W, the dough used, must be less than or equal to four, the dough available. Now look at sauce. Each regular pizza uses one portion of sauce, and the total sauce used must be three portions or less. So one R must be less than or equal to three. White pizza doesn't use sauce, so W does not appear in the sauce constraint. Now cheese. Each regular pizza uses one portion of cheese and each white pizza uses two portions of cheese. So the cheese used by all the pizzas will be one R plus two W. Since six portions is the limit of available cheese, R plus two W, the cheese used, must be less than or equal to six, the cheese available. These are the three constraint equations for the shared limited resources in this pizza problem. The complete linear programming formulation for the pizza problem is shown here. Non-negativity constraints have been added for each decision variable. The least you can make of any product is zero. Notice that this linear programming problem has two decision variables, three constraint equations, actually inequalities, and one objective. Every linear programming problem has only one objective. No matter how large the problem is, the one objective is what gives it one unique optimal solution. At this point, the linear programming problem is formulated mathematically and is ready to be solved.